This is me, Professor. Their work was carried out in secret during the apartheid years, but now traditional African healers, known locally as Sangoma, like to be seen in a different light. A qualified health practitioner, as it is called today. But formerly it was called a witch doctor. There are 200,000 Sangoma in South Africa. Philip Kubukeli said he's healed around 1,000 people during his 40 years of practice. The healing process differs between tribes, but it always involves calling on the power of ancestors, the patients and the Sangoma's own, to resolve any problems. There are only a few hundred white Sangomas, but their numbers are increasing. With our whites being here sort of eight, nine, ten, eleven generations, we have become Africans, not because we were born in Africa, but rather because Africa was born in us. Meet Boca de Toy. He's been a practicing Sangoma for 20 years, taking personal spiritual direction from East and West combined New Age traditions. He treats about 25 people a week, mainly black professionals, and he's currently teaching two African women how to become Sangomas. They actually dreamt of me, a white man, uh, describing me quite clearly and connecting with me to be reintroduced and reconnected to the deep ancient African roots. Novice Sangomas are supposed to be trained by their ancestors while they sleep. Some say the traditions and knowledge cannot and should not be taught outside of that dream time. It was not more from their own ancestors, it was more from this particular Sangoma who's teaching him, who's teaching this person. And then it, 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 it was not so, it, 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 it shouldn't be like that. When it comes to white, to, white, to white people, I don't know how their ancestors operate. It took about 10 minutes for Boka to tell me that he had picked up my protective ancestor. The process of diagnosis had begun. I've met people of all colours and from all walks of life who've consulted Sangomas on everything from how to deal with an HIV infection to how to find a new husband. It seems that for many South Africans, whatever answers lie in science, there's another one in nature. Philip Kubukeli has been criticised for teaching 11 white men and women his craft, but he says that both cultures can benefit from the exchange. Why not can't we come together and join into a force? A force that is combining traditional spiritual connections from across the world to form a new set of values for future generations for at least a dozen Sangomas I spoke to here in South Africa. Rosie Garthwaite, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.